If you're over 60 and you masturbate every day, you might think you're quietly harming your prostate, slowly wearing it down, draining your testosterone, maybe even increasing your risk of cancer. That's the fear, right? It's what's whispered in online forums and passed around like cautionary tales. But today, I'm going to show you something shocking, something science has revealed that turns all of that upside down. I'm Dr. Mohit Kara, a professor of urology and one of the leading experts in men's health with over 30 years of clinical experience. I've worked with thousands of men who were afraid to even talk about this topic, let alone understand how it impacts their health. And what I found, what the science shows, is not only surprising, it's liberating. Because while most men believe that frequent ejaculation might inflame or damage the prostate, the truth is far more powerful. It might actually protect it. In fact, a landmark study from Harvard followed nearly 32,000 men for 18 years, and the results were jaw-dropping. In this video, you'll discover the real effects of daily masturbation on your prostate, how it flushes harmful waste, promotes healthy cell renewal, lowers stress-driven inflammation, and plays a crucial role in long-term cancer prevention. You'll also learn the hidden danger that ejaculation alone can't fix, and the natural ways to take full control of your prostate health. Stay with me, because what's happening inside your body right now may not be what you think. Before we dive in, if you're serious about protecting your prostate and staying strong as you age, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss another science-backed tip made specifically for men over 60. And if this topic speaks to you, type 1 in the comments. If not, type 0. Your feedback helps me make each video more helpful for you. All right, let's get into it. Starting with something I see in nearly every man over 60 who walks into my clinic. It's not just the physical symptoms, it's the quiet fear behind them. You wake up multiple times a night, you feel like you can't fully empty your bladder, and deep down you're wondering, is this just aging? Or is something more serious happening with my prostate? This is where most men start, and it's exactly where we need to begin. 1. The quiet fears most men over 60 carry. I can't tell you how many men I've spoken to, proud, hard-working men in their 60s and 70s, who quietly admit, sometimes after years of suffering and silence, that something just doesn't feel right down there. They don't shout it. They don't complain. They simply live with it, hoping it'll go away on its own. It starts with little things, waking up two or three times a night to urinate, feeling like the bladder never fully empties, needing to plan every trip around where the nearest restroom is. It's subtle at first, but over time, it chips away at confidence, at freedom, at peace of mind. And then comes the fear, not just of discomfort, but of the unknown. Is this just what happens with age, or is something more serious developing? For many, there's also the lingering worry that daily habits, like masturbation, might be making things worse. They've heard the rumors that frequent ejaculation can irritate the prostate, cause it to swell, or even raise the risk of cancer. These thoughts don't just bring anxiety, they bring shame, confusion, and silence. And I understand that. I do. Because for decades, no one talked about this openly. These were the questions left in the dark, buried in late-night Google searches, or hidden behind awkward doctor visits that never got to the real issue. But as a physician who spent over 30 years focused on men's health, I'm here to tell you, your fears are valid, but they deserve clarity. And more importantly, they deserve truth rooted in science, not old myths. So before you start blaming yourself or your body, let's look at what the research actually says. Because once you hear what Harvard scientists discovered about frequent ejaculation and prostate cancer, I promise you, you'll never look at your daily habits the same way again. 2. What the Harvard study actually revealed I remember the first time I came across the Harvard study. I was sitting in my office late one evening reviewing medical journals when I saw the headline, ejaculation frequency and risk of prostate cancer. My first thought was probably the same as yours. Is this for real? But the deeper I read, the more I realized this wasn't some fringe theory or speculative idea. This was a landmark study spanning 18 years following over 31,000 men. And what it uncovered was nothing short of groundbreaking. 
The researchers didn't just ask vague questions. They tracked lifestyle habits, health outcomes, and most importantly, how often these men ejaculated, whether through sex or masturbation. What they found turned decades of myth on its head. The data showed that men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had up to a 33% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who only ejaculated four to seven times per month. Let that sink in. Something as natural and accessible as ejaculation, when done regularly, was strongly associated with a significantly reduced cancer risk. When I share this with patients, most of them stare at me, speechless. One gentleman, a 67-year-old retired firefighter, laughed and said, you mean I've been doing something right all these years? And honestly, yes, that's exactly what the science is telling us. Now, let me be clear. This isn't permission to obsess or use this as a license to ignore other parts of your health, but it does mean that daily ejaculation isn't the threat many older men fear it is. In fact, it may be one of your body's simplest tools for staying well. But of course, that leads to an even deeper question. Why does this work? What's actually happening inside your body when you ejaculate regularly that helps protect the prostate? The answer lies in something your body does naturally, but only if you let it. Let's take a closer look. 3. Flushing the System The Prostate Stagnation Theory I want you to picture something for a moment. Think of your prostate as a small, fluid-producing factory tucked beneath your bladder. Day after day, it's working, quietly, steadily, producing the nourishing fluid that makes up semen. But just like any factory, if the output isn't cleared regularly, things begin to back up. Waste builds, the machinery clogs, and over time, that slow buildup can cause real problems. That's the idea behind what scientists call the prostate stagnation hypothesis. It's a theory, yes, but one supported by growing evidence and a lot of clinical sense. As men age, especially into their 60s, 70s, and beyond, the rate at which they ejaculate typically drops. But the prostate doesn't stop producing fluid. So what happens to it? It starts to sit. It accumulates. And with that stagnation comes the risk of cellular debris, toxins, and even potential carcinogens building up inside those delicate ducts. Regular ejaculation, according to this theory, acts like a natural flush. It clears the pipes, moves out old fluid, and helps maintain a healthier internal environment. It's not unlike changing the oil in your car. Skip it for too long and you're putting wear on the entire system. I've seen this firsthand in my practice. Men who maintain healthy sexual activity, whether through intimacy or masturbation, often report fewer symptoms of congestion, less discomfort, and better urinary flow. It's not a miracle, but it is maintenance, quiet, consistent, and deeply effective. And the best part? This is something your body already knows how to do. It's built into your biology. You just have to give it permission to work the way it was designed. But flushing out old fluid is only one piece of the puzzle. There's something even more fascinating happening on a cellular level, something that may be your prostate's best natural defense against disease, and it has everything to do with how your body replaces its own cells. Let me show you what I mean. 4. Healthy Cell Turnover, Preventing Mutations Before They Start One of the most remarkable things about the human body is how it constantly renews itself. Every day, your cells are working, dividing, replacing the old with the new. And while this process is natural and essential, it isn't perfect. Each time a cell divides, there's a chance, however small, that an error can occur in the genetic code. Over time, these little slips can add up, and in the wrong place, like the prostate, they can become the seeds of cancer. That's why cell turnover matters so much. It's not just about regeneration, it's about protection. When your prostate is active, when it's regularly emptied through ejaculation, that turnover speeds up. The body is prompted to sweep out aging or damaged cells and replace them with newer, healthier ones. It's like refreshing the foundation before cracks can spread. In fact, some researchers believe this may be one of the key reasons why frequent ejaculation is linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer. It's not just that it flushes out waste, it's that it prevents abnormal cells from gaining a foothold in the first place. I remember a patient named Walter. He was 72, sharp as a tack, and had spent most of his life in construction. When I explained this concept to him, he paused and said, 
So, it's like clearing out the job site before the mold sets in? And honestly, yes, he nailed it. It's proactive, it's preventative, and it makes a real difference. Now, this doesn't mean ejaculation is a magic shield, but it does mean your body has built-in tools to defend itself, tools you may have been neglecting without even realizing it. But there's more to the story, because even with healthy cell turnover, your prostate faces another major threat, and this one doesn't come from inside your cells, but from inside your mind. Let's talk about the powerful, silent connection between stress and inflammation. 5. Lowering stress equals sign lowering inflammation. If there's one thing I've learned in my decades of practice, it's this. What happens in your mind doesn't stay in your mind. Stress isn't just a feeling, it's a biological event. And for older men, especially those dealing with prostate issues, that silent pressure builds up over time. It tightens the muscles around your bladder, raises your blood pressure, and stirs up chronic inflammation in places you can't even feel, until something starts going wrong. Now here's the surprising part. Ejaculation can help. Whether through intimacy or masturbation, the act of releasing doesn't just provide a moment of physical relief. It shifts your entire internal chemistry. Your body releases oxytocin, dopamine, and endorphins. These aren't just feel-good chemicals. They actively calm the nervous system, reduce cortisol, the stress hormone, and lower systemic inflammation throughout the body, including in the prostate. Think about how many times you've carried a week's worth of tension in your shoulders, your gut, or your chest. That same tension shows up in your pelvic floor, around your prostate, and in your urinary tract. And over time, that tightness fuels irritation, pressure, and dysfunction. I had a patient, George, who came in complaining of frequent urination and pelvic discomfort. We ruled out serious conditions, but what stood out was how tightly wound he was, retired but still carrying the weight of a lifetime of stress. Once we addressed the emotional layer and encouraged him to reconnect with healthy sexual release, things began to shift, not just physically, but emotionally too. You see, when it comes to your prostate, release isn't just a physical act, it's a full-body reset. And in men over 60, that reset may be one of the most underused healing tools we have. But here's the thing. Even if you're doing everything right, flushing the system, keeping cells healthy, managing stress, there's still one hidden issue that could be keeping your prostate under pressure. And it's something almost no one talks about. Let's take a closer look. 6. The prostate clog, a hidden problem in aging men. Here's something I see all the time, and it frustrates me, because most men never hear about it until it's already causing problems. I call it the prostate clog. It's not an official medical term, but it describes something very real. You might be ejaculating regularly, eating well, and trying your best to stay healthy, but still, you feel pressure, a weak stream, frequent urges, or that annoying sensation that you're never quite empty. Sound familiar? That's because, as we age, the prostate doesn't just deal with inflammation or cellular damage. It also becomes stiff, less elastic, and more prone to what I describe as internal blockages, layers of hardened fluid, swollen tissue, and poor circulation that restrict natural flow. It's like a garden hose that's been left in the sun too long, twisted, resistant, and slow to respond. One of my patients, Dennis, a 69-year-old former airline pilot, came to me saying, Doc, it feels like there's something stuck in there, like it's all backed up. He wasn't wrong. His PSA was normal, but his prostate was swollen, inflamed, and underperforming. No infection, no cancer, just stagnation and poor flow. And this kind of clog doesn't always show up on basic tests, which is why so many men feel dismissed when they bring it up. The solution? It takes more than just ejaculation. It requires improving blood flow, reducing deep tissue inflammation, and helping the prostate regain its natural rhythm. For some, this means targeted exercises. For others, herbal support. And in many cases, a specific blend of natural ingredients, like pomegranate, green tea extract, and saw palmetto, can help loosen what time has tightened. But there's one more layer to this that I don't want you to miss. Because even with a clean diet and regular sexual activity, if you're not doing these five critical things for your prostate health, you're still leaving yourself exposed. Let's walk through them one by one. 
7. Five Natural Ways to Support a Healthy Prostate Over 60 Even with everything we've talked about, frequent ejaculation, flushing the system, managing stress, and improving flow, your prostate still needs daily support. And the truth is, many men over 60 overlook the simple, natural habits that quietly keep this small but powerful gland functioning at its best. I've seen men turn their prostate health around not with pills or procedures, but with small, consistent choices that create lasting change. First, nutrition matters more than you think. Foods rich in lycopene, like cooked tomatoes, watermelon, and even pink grapefruit, are incredibly powerful. Lycopene is a natural antioxidant that concentrates in the prostate and helps lower oxidative stress. Just adding a few servings each week can make a real difference. Second, green tea isn't just for relaxing, it's medicine. It's packed with catechins, which help fight inflammation and protect prostate cells from damage. I often recommend two cups a day for men over 60. It's a small habit with big benefits. Third, move your body. You don't need to run marathons. Just 30 minutes of brisk walking, five days a week, can improve circulation, reduce hormone imbalances, and help regulate prostate size. Exercise is not just good for your heart, it's essential for your prostate. Fourth, cut back on the things you know aren't helping, smoking and excessive alcohol. They increase systemic inflammation and are linked to more aggressive forms of prostate disease. And finally, be proactive. A lot of men avoid their doctors out of fear or pride, but regular screenings, like the PSA test, can catch issues early, when they're most treatable. Early detection is not weakness, it's wisdom. Together, these five habits work in synergy with the natural benefits of ejaculation. They create a full-spectrum approach to prostate health, one that's rooted in prevention, not panic. And now that you've seen the science, the stories, and the strategies, there's one last thing I want to leave you with, something most men never hear, but every man over 60 needs to know. Let's bring it all home in the final message. Conclusion what daily masturbation really does to your prostate. So now you know. After all the confusion, fear, and misinformation, here's the truth. Daily masturbation isn't something to be ashamed of. It doesn't wear you out, poison your prostate, or drain your manhood. In fact, it may be one of your body's most natural, powerful defenses, especially as you age. We've walked through the science together the Harvard study that linked frequent ejaculation to a 33% lower risk of prostate cancer, the theory of flushing out old fluid, keeping the system clean, the critical role of healthy cell turnover, the way stress fuels inflammation, and how sexual release can bring calm, clarity, and even healing. We talked about the hidden clog that so many men carry without realizing it. And we ended with five simple but powerful habits that strengthen the prostate every single day. But beyond the research and remedies, here's what I hope you truly take away from this. You're not broken, you're not too old, and you don't have to accept discomfort, fear, or silence as your new normal. You have options, you have control, and you have every right to feel strong, confident, and fully alive, no matter your age. I've sat with hundreds of men who thought it was too late. It never was. They just needed the right information and a doctor who would finally speak to them with honesty and respect. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you're ready to keep learning, growing, and taking charge of your health, I'll be right here with more truth, more science, and more support just for you. Stay strong, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.